Let me get to it. There's a Mesa stuff we gotta do today. No guarantee that there won't be more puns in this Stranded series, okay? Today we are playing Stranded. Welcome back. This is the third series of Stranded that I've done. And I'll explain real quickly what Stranded is. Stranded, we're stranded in a world, on a world, on a seed, that is all of one biome type. And today it is the Badlands, which is used to be called the Mesa biome. Now, it doesn't sound that too difficult, right? I had somebody say, hey, these are pretty good, but you should make them more interesting. Okay, I heard you. So, we're gonna make this one more interesting. This is ultra hardcore. It's not hardcore. Hardcore is where if you lose HP, uh, you know, if you die, you don't respawn, and the game is on hard. This is ultra hardcore, which means that uh, if I lose HP, it doesn't respawn ever. It only respawns if I eat golden apples or take regen potions. That's it. That's all she wrote. So, that being said, we are going to play some UHC Ultra Hardcore, and the goal, once again, is to beat the Ender Dragon. Uh, looking for any sign of any wood right now, because we gotta get some basic tools first. And people sometimes ask, like, uh, you know, are you a speedrunner? Are you gonna be able to do this quickly? Uh, the answer is no. I'm not a speedrunning master, but I've played my fair share of Minecraft, so hopefully we can... Beat the game without too much trouble. That uh, the portal back there, I want to go back to. Or maybe find a lava pool, like the lava pool like that. We can get into the nether. I think the quicker we can get potions here, it's going to be better. So I'm going to keep an eye out for a village. A village will give us some wood. It's kind of like the same deal as the desert challenge we did last time. Getting wood is going to be, I think, the toughest part. A mine shaft would work and... <gasps> okay. No! There was this... Oh, this is so dangerous. Uh, I don't like this at all. I can hear the monsters. Get out of here, dude. What's nice about these mesa biomes is that the... Oh, I can hear the skeletons. These things spawn out in the open. The, uh... What are these called? The mine shafts, I guess? Spawn out in the open? Okay, they sound... I need more wood, but these guys sound way too close. So we're gonna skedaddle. Get more wood here. This is safe, I think. So I can take advantage of these mine shafts and get some wood. Also, I did choose the, the Badlands because gold spawns more commonly in this biome. And golden apples are one of the only ways to regenerate health in this mode. So it's not ultra hardcore. It's just pretty hardcore. Pretty, pretty hardcore Minecraft. We'll go with that. Oh, it's dark down there. Not doing too bad, though. We're like five minutes in. We're like five minutes in and we got wood already, so that's a good sign. And we got some, there's some stone and some lava over here. Lava's going to be useful to get to the nether without getting diamonds, although... Uh, this is going to be hard. All right, let's get some basic tools going. I'm scared of the night time. We found some armor right off the bat, so that's nice. But I have to get an oak sapling for apples at this point, I think. I think that's really one of my only ways to... And for that, we can go to like a pre-generated structure, so I... Finding a village... Probably our best uh, bet forward. If I do die, we're gonna just keep restarting until I beat the challenge. <laughs> we're just gonna keep on going, keep on trucking, because eventually I will beat the challenge. This world is, is proving to be pretty good though, so maybe we can do it in one try. That would be pretty cool. If I don't think it's possible, I'll give up, but... Oh yeah, there's like no food spawning. Mm, food, uh, what are our food options besides rotten flesh? All right, I'm gonna walk and try to find a village because I think a village is really our only good option for food and kind of civilization. Like, I gotta find some sort of civilization. If I get underground, we can, like, get rotten flesh and make a farm of some sort, maybe. Find beetroot seeds in a, in a dungeon. Find pumpkin seeds. I don't know. Something like that. Like, there, there's roundabout ways to do it, but there's no fast way to get food. <gasps> the minecart. This is a mineshaft minecart. Beetroot seeds, we got a food source. Okay, this will give a string. I'd have to wait for the melons and stuff to grow though, so that is not an ideal solution. I'd also have to find dirt. Dirt is not very common in a mesa. I remember when they first added mesas to the game and I was playing on a server with all of my friends. Their server was called Millith. If I have any friends from watching from back in the day, y'all remember Millith? And when I first saw the Mesa biome, I was like, this is the coolest looking freaking biome I have ever seen. It was so different than the old, than everything that was like in the old world generation back in the day. If you guys remember, 
the worlds used to be so flat and predictable and then all of a sudden they were like we're gonna make the worlds taller we're adding new biomes and they added the mesa biome and i just remember being like holy moly like we got something we got something cool here and i set up a base in the side of a mesa mountain good times good times and now i'm stranded in ultra hardcore in a mesa biome why did i do this to myself oh i don't see one do villages even spawn in badlands anymore i feel like they do but i haven't found one yet and it's getting night and we're gonna have to go underground i oh, looks like we're gonna be eating rotten flesh unless i find some food in a cave i see some mine shafts over here so that's what we're gonna try oh surface ore can't run no food I see you creeper up there. Stay there, demon. This is not good. I don't like the dark. <gasps> no. I've given myself night vision so that we can all see what's going on, as I usually do. So I like playing uh, with this pack, but it, it gets it gets a little tough at night. Maybe if I keep moving, I can still find something. I, I don't. I legitimately don't even know if villages spawn in this biome. Do villages spawn in this biome? Anybody know? Glowberries. I can eat these. This is the only way to get glowberries too because I'm pretty sure the lush caves aren't going to spawn. I need a shield pronto. Shield is going to save me so many hearts. Shield acquired. I feel like 10% safer now. And then I look over there and I feel less safe. We can mine gold now and we're going to need that gold for uh, for those golden apples. Again, only way to regenerate health is golden apples right now. You know what? This isn't... Three irons not going to help me. So let's just keep moving very carefully. Collecting some wood. Ah, oh, bread. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm just gonna explore this mine shaft now. I feel a little emboldened with my shield. Uh, I feel less. I feel less emboldened after hearing that. Stay back, demon. No. I am too good. What do we got? No. I don't think I want to be in the mine shaft anymore. But I can't go up because it's not day yet. Here's a little trick. If you get enough uh, wool or enough string, you can make wool. And with wool, we can make a bed. And then we can sleep through the nights. Our game just became, like, a little bit safer. Well, now it's daytime. I'm heading up. Oh, stay away. Do I dare go down here? Oh, no. Let's go. I don't like it in there. We're kind of cooking now. I got some decent stuff now. Collecting all that gold, that sweet juicy gold that spawns in the in the mesa biome. But I don't have a way to get apples yet. And I I don't even know if I'm gonna have a way to get apples until I go into the nether. Oak trees, I don't even think spawn in the Badlands biomes anymore. They did back in the day when they were mesa biomes, but I don't think they do now. And on top of that, I don't even know if villages spawn or someone is definitely yelling at me. They do or they don't. And you guys need to yell louder because I can't hear you. But at least we got like an open cave to the sunlight, which means I can grab uh, grab some stuff here. I think I have enough gold now. What we really need, I think I have iron. Let's grab a flint and steel. I, I might just speed run the nether, honestly, at this point. I don't think being in the overworld helps me any. Okay, we got a flint. We got a flint and steel. When you find a lava pool, I'll sit down and get all my gear together. Being in the overworld just does not help me. It just, I'm burning food and not really getting much besides the iron. So I think just going, finding a place to go into the nether is going to be our best way forward. A bastion? My... Oh! No! I blocked you! No! I blocked you! <laughs> How am I going to get an apple for that? Half a heart warrior. One step into a cactus and I die. The shields feel so buggy to me. Like, I'm so sure that I clicked my shield in his direction and activated it. And it just did nothing. I have to, I have to find a village or something. I don't even know if I'm going to make it in the nether at this point. Make it into it. Once I get there, I think I also die. If this has a sapling in it, we're fine. Oak sapling. Frostwalker? That'll do me no good. Don't be fooled. This isn't an ocean. It's just a really large badlands biome. But you know what? Traveling in boat actually doesn't sound like an awful idea. Let's uh, let's cook up some stuff and then we'll go on a little boat ride. I'm just looking for another like surface minecart. Oh, <gasps> frick. This could, okay, this could save me. I could have died there. 
This can save me because there could be loot in here that could save me. Let's, uh, let's... I don't... I don't love this position that I'm in. All right, nothing good in this one. Was there another chest? Please tell me there's another chest. If that's the only chest, I'm sad. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, nope. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> well, we got full gear now, full iron gear and some uh, gold pants, which we're gonna need those when we go into the nether anyway. I got some leftover iron, made an extra, made an extra shield. I'm going to go ahead and smelt some of this gold too, so that hopefully, hopefully once we find an apple, we can keep on rolling. We got us a boat. Let's uh, head out and look for a village before we end off this one. would like to not start next episode on a new world, on a new seed, but uh, I definitely realize that that's a possibility. And I accept my failures in using my shield. Man, the terrain is gorgeous here, though. Gotta give it up for that. It's just a little dangerous. When you stop and think about it, it's kind of like I'm in the wild, wild west. I'm Wyatt Earp or some other semi-fictional, probably not fictional, but maybe exaggerated character. <gasps> oh, the golden apple. I'm eating this right away. Like, I, I need the HP. Thank you, minecart. Maybe we do have a chance. Maybe there is a slim chance that we can actually beat this. It sucks that the problem is not the gold, but the, the apple. <gasps> oh my gosh. And another one. Oh my gosh, that is so lucky. Okay, we're doing doing a little better now. Let's, uh, man, I, okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to get into the nether now. I think that's my, my goal. The, uh, I've been running around looking for a lava pool, a village, a sign of another existence beside my own for a while. An a animal? No animals? No animals spawning here? There's zombies though. Plenty of those things. I guess spiders are an animal. But uh, I'm not interested in those animals. I don't even need this gold. Like, it's just a habit. Hello, can you point me to your nearest village, please? I'm gonna guess not. Running around for like 15 minutes and just not seeing any structures or lava pools has to be one of the most frustrating Minecraft experiences I've ever experienced. If I can get this guy in a boat, we could get ender pearls going. Oh, no ender pearls. Y'all ever heard of that movie, seen that movie Holes or like read the book? This is that desert they were escaping in. If you know, you know. Oh, a lava pool. That only took me like forever. All right, well, now that I've found it, we're going to cut this one here, guys. I'm sorry, but we're just simply out of time for this episode. We'll start the next one by heading into the nether. It's, uh, it's a dangerous thing to do, but we're going we're gonna to do it. So uh, see you next time.